Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know, wherever you may be. The new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, is a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. It is November 25, 2019. Know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday, and we will all cross the finish line together. This may just be one of my last Iraqi newsletters to go out, you'll see why here in a moment. Yes I believe we are that close. Please leave some ideas in the comment section below on what you would like to see on this channel post RV. I am a huge silver bug at heart, but I am open to ideas on subjects. Thank you in advance. Let's get started shall we? First and best article of interest first. Gabin announces a preliminary agreement between Baghdad and Kurdistan on the draft budget. Deputy Prime Minister and Oil Minister Thay Mergadbin reached an agreement with the Kurdistan region on the federal budget for 2020. This came after a delegation from the Iraqi government with a delegation from the Kurdistan regional government to discuss the draft Iraqi budget. Minister Thay Mergadbin told reporters after the meeting, an agreement has been reached in principle which I can personally describe as final, to deliver oil extracted from the Kurdistan region to the Iraqi oil marketing company, SOMO, which will export via pipeline to the Turkish port of Sehan at a rate of 250,000 barrels daily. Relations have improved with the change of governments in Baghdad and Erbil, the capital of the Kurdistan region. As part of the budgets of 2018 and 2019, the Kurdistan region have agreed to send 250,000 barrels per day to the federal authorities in exchange for the payment of Baghdad to the salaries of government employees. Minister Thay Mergadbin said that the process of receiving oil from Kurdistan will be from 1st January 2020. He added that a meeting will be prepared next week in which representatives from the region to discuss the draft budget law and in order to finalize it and send it to the Council of Ministers for discussion and approval and then sent to Parliament to be legislated and become a law. Second best article next. Abdul Mahdi's spokesman explains the reasons for the delay in sending the 2020 budget to Parliament. The spokesman for the Information Office of Prime Minister William Warda said on Monday that the failure to send the draft budget 2020 to Parliament is due to technical reasons, indicating that the government wants to complete the Parliament and the Elections Commission and not occupied by something else. Warda told the information that there is no obstacle to send the draft budget 2020 from the government to the House of Representatives for the purpose of approval with the delay due to technical reasons. He added that the House of Representatives is busy passing the laws of the Commission and the elections and cannot be occupied by the budget until the passage of the laws or cut advanced stages to accomplish, noting that the draft budget is on the table of the Council of Ministers and can be sent during the next few days. He explained that there are no differences within the government on the budget and teams of experts and the Council of Ministers are working to the fullest to send to the Parliament to pass. Next article of interest. Tommy Me. Erbil prevented financial control staff from entering Kurdistan for auditing. A member of the Committee on Economics Riyadh Tommy Me, Monday that the Kurdistan region prevents the entry of employees of the Office of Financial Supervision and the federal government from entering Erbil to check the budget. Al-Tamimi said in a statement to the information that the budget file between Baghdad and the region did not end and we have many doubts and red lines on the file of the special budget in the government of the region. Al-Tamimi, who is the head of the parliamentary bloc of victory, that more than once trying to control the Baghdad office to enter Erbil, but it is banned by order of the authorities of the region and this prohibition and our income in constant doubt. The member of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, Ahmed Hamarashid said in a statement earlier to the information that the Constitution contains articles impeding anti-corruption operations and prosecution within the Kurdistan region, calling for a review of the structure of the state and the laws of the judiciary and integrity. Next article of interest. The Iraqi government sets conditions for the selection of current replacement ministers. 
Government spokesman William Warder reiterated the insistence of the executive and judiciary authorities to prosecute officials convicted of corruption cases and put them behind bars, while hinting to delay the resolution of the termination of the positions of the proxy. Al Sub newspaper reported in its Monday edition that Warda said that there is determination and assurance that the officials convicted of corruption cases will be behind bars. He added that work is underway to end the file of the positions of the agency, despite the difficulty of selecting the occupants to meet the call and the voice of the street, as it must be careful selection by considering all issues related to integrity efficiency and ability and distance them from parties and political blocks and quotas, explaining that the submission of names can be late because replacing other people is easy but to be in accordance with specific standards of integrity, professionalism and independence is very difficult. He pointed out that the anti-corruption file is the most important to calm the street and demonstrators in Baghdad and the provinces expecting to bring a number of former ministers and heads of independent bodies and governors to the judiciary and the issuance of judgments against those found corrupt files, usually the subject of anti-corruption is critical to calm the street, especially if the introduction the people who got involved in it are big. The government spokesman stressed that the work is being actively and insist on the legislation of the elections and an independent commission for the need to pass as soon as possible, especially after the confirmation of the supreme authority, pointing out that the legislation of these laws will be important during the next phase and facilitate the holding of fair and fair elections. Regarding the upcoming ministerial change, Warda explained that the change requires careful selection as it is assumed that those who are chosen should be independent, efficient and impartial and not affiliated with a political bloc. Next article of interest. Revealing the names of four substitutes for Abdul Mahdi. An Iraqi political analyst said on Sunday that the political blocs deliberated for names as candidates to replace the current Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi and the head of the Iraqi Group for Strategic Studies, and confident Hashemi, in a press statement, that the talk was about the president's advisors in the presidency and the former minister, Ali al-Shukri, the governor of Najaf, Adnan al-Zarfi, the governor of Basra, Azad al-Aidani, and the former minister of labor and social affairs, Mohammed Shia Sudanese. Hashemi added, there is a proposal for some other independent names, and continued, saying, No agreement has been reached between the political blocs on these names so far and meetings held, including the meeting held at the home of President Baram Saleh. There have been anti-government protests in Iraq since early October, in which at least 340 people were killed and 15,000 wounded, according to a census based on figures from the Parliamentary Human Rights Commission, the Human Rights Commission and Medical and Human Rights Sources. Protesters initially demanded better services, jobs and corruption, before their demands included the departure of the government and the political elite accused of corruption. Abdul Mahdi refuses to resign from the premiership, and requires that political forces agree first on an alternative, warning that the absence of a smooth and rapid alternative will leave the fate of Iraq for the unknown. Next article of interest. Parliamentary readiness to dismiss Abdul Mahdi immediately after attending Parliament. The MP for the Coalition of State Law Hein Siv, Monday, a parliamentary alert to dismiss Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi as soon as he attended any session. Nasif said in a statement to the information that the solution of the crisis between the government and the demonstrators are not through the change of five or more ministers but that the dismissal of the entire government is a basic demand of the demonstrators if we did not say the first demands, stating that the demand to dismiss the entire government has the support of Spectrum Parliament is wide. Any presence of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi will face his dismissal in the presence of broad parliamentary preparedness, even if he attended for non-questioning. NASA pointed out that the presidency of the parliament will be forced to draw the questioning on the agenda in an emergency and will have sufficient vote to its degree, stressing that the questioning is complete in administrative and legal terms. Next article of interest. Deputy. No letter from the government on the reshuffle has been received by the parliament. 
MP Sadikun Block Muhammad Abaldawi, Monday, that the Presidency of the Council of Representatives did not receive any official letter from the government on the reshuffle or the curriculum vita of the new candidates, denying the reports that Prime Minister Urgent Abdul Mahdi attended the meeting of Parliament today. Al Dawi said in a statement to the information that the issue of the reshuffle is just talking statements from time to time by Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi and government spokesman, but in fact did not receive any official letter to the presidency of the parliament related to the replacement nor any biographies of new candidates. He added that Abdul Mahdi does not dare at the moment to come to Parliament for fear of embarrassment by a large number of deputies and if he wants to change some portfolios, he will send an official letter to the Presidency of the Council. Al Dawi pointed out that any ministerial change will be of no significance at the present time unless it takes serious steps away from the satisfaction of Zal or so or because it promised reform and had to send alternative names and present them to the council without paying attention to others and to happen what happens. Be sure to like, subscribe and if you haven't checked out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. Do so, the link is in the description panel below. Tell them that an Aryan sent you. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert. Again please list some ideas for the post-rev channel below, over and out for now, the Denarian.